to, to start off, we're going to review the differences between furnace and air handlers, and we're going to begin with furnaces. We're on our graphic there. We're looking at vertical, or sometimes referred to as an upflow furnace. These units are commonly found installed in a basement. It can also be in a closet, a utility room, maybe even in the garage. The unit we're laying on its side, that would be a horizontal furnace. And in that configuration, most likely you're gonna see it in tighter spaces like attics or crawl spaces. And we're gonna have some examples of that as well following. So here in our red boxes, we see what makes this unit a furnace. The fact that it has a gas line, a gas valve, it has burners there, an exhaust flue, that all of those items together, kind of by definition, at least the way I say it, makes this unit a furnace. The vast majority of furnaces do use natural gas as their fuel, although there's you know ones that use propane. There's also ones that are oil burning furnaces. Those are more mostly in the northeastern states. Here's a claim photo showing a vertical uh, furnace located in an attic, which is a little unusual. We usually don't have that much space in an attic to accommodate it in this orientation, but this shows that does happen. But this unit was also an air handler when it's being used in air, used for air conditioning or an air conditioning mode. So in cooling mode, this unit relies on the evaporator coil to absorb heat and create condensation, allowing it to deliver cooler, drier air to the structure. Okay. We do, we do have to accommodate that condensation created by the unit in cooling mode, and there would be an addition of a condensate drain line and possibly a condensate drain pump shown here in our diagram. If the unit is below grade, there's no floor drain or anywhere else to send that water. So the duct work and the blower for both types of units are shared, and uh, the, then they are uh, used for both cooling and heating. Now let's compare that to an air handler only unit. The first thing you're going to notice, there's no heating components with this unit, right? At least those gas heating components we refer to. And with many air handler brands, the components get rearranged or flip flopped with the evaporator coil and the filter on the bottom now and the blower at the top. Again, as with heat pump condensers, air handlers and, uh, excuse me, air handlers and furnaces can look a lot alike. But guess what? You have to know. Um, which is which, because furnaces are probably going to cost more to replace in the event of the loss. So here's a photo showing an actual air handler. This one uh, looks like it's installed in a garage. And again, without opening the panels, it's sometimes hard to tell what you're looking at. So let's use what we just learned. There's a few clues here. Okay, in this photo, there's no gas line. There's no exhaust flue. And the refrigerant lines are entering that lower compartment telling us the evaporator coils in the lower compartment, which is indicative of an air handler only, which we just showed you, right? So note that silver box at the very bottom, that's not actually part of the air handler, okay? That's actually part of the duct work. That's known as the plenum, and we're gonna be covering that with more information here in a little bit. Here we see a horizontal unit. This one's installed in an attic that I mentioned that that's possible, right? And based on what we just learned, can you tell which type of unit this is? Is this air handler only or is this a furnace? Well, if you said furnace, uh, you would be right. <laughs> and you knew that because it has that visible exhaust flue. We're burning a fuel and we have to exhaust that out. All right, heat pump air handlers are almost the same, but a little bit different than standard air handlers. Um, and let's talk about that one key difference. And that would be the addition of, or the possible addition of auxiliary heat strips. Sometimes we'd refer to those as supplemental heat strips or emergency heat strips. They're added to the inside of the unit of this heat pump air handler to help supplement heat during those coldest days of the year when a unit is struggling to gain enough heat from the ambient air outside. Um, and with the addition of these heat strips, the price goes up again for this type of unit compared to a standard air handler. So again, you need to know that. So now we're onto those head units, which are the air handler units for many split systems, all right? For many split condensers. With this type, we have no ductwork, okay? So um, the unit's hanging on the wall, right? And it's usually above head level. So it's up there kind of towards the ceiling in most cases at least, but it still contains all the same components as a standard air handler. Okay, it's gonna have the evaporator coil. It's gonna have a blower. It's gonna have a drip pan. Got to get rid of that condensation. We're gonna have similar electronic components. Okay, there are many types and styles and colors, mostly just brand specific. So that's why they some of them look a little different. 
So you've probably seen the type we just showed you, right? So those are called head units. But we also have this type, okay? These are designed to be installed in a ceiling and I've seen these in drywall, but usually or more commonly, they're in the place of a two by two tile and a drop ceiling. Um, so a lot of times this is either in a basement or in a commercial setting. These are often referred to as the term cassettes, 